you did? Oh my god, it is a Burragon game. Ha! That's hilarious. Or a game jam. So, this vampire walks into a bar. Oh god, I'm late for my job interview. This is my only chance. I need this job. Where the hell is this bar? What's the address again? Oh, is that it? This little hole in the wall? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I'm going in. There's nobody here? Did I mess up again? If I don't get a job soon, I'll have to go back. No, it's best not to think about that. I can do this. Someone has to hire me. There's no way any. There's no way anything could be worse than what I've already been through. Oh, here's someone. What a weird-looking guy. Is he the manager? The owner? Hello. I'm so sorry. I'm late, sir. What? Who are you? You're not a customer then. I hear about the job. Yeah, you are late. But right now, you're the only applicant, so. Okay, Dora. Oh, that's great. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm ready for my interview. I gotta be honest with you, kid. I don't have time to interview you. Oh no, I've plotted already. Try to act calm, act professional. Tell him why you make a great bartender. No, start with the name. I'm Jackie, and I, I, I don't have any experience. Uh, I hope that's okay. I shouldn't have led with that crap. That's cool. No experience, huh? That's too bad, but... I really don't care at this point. You're hired. You start getting your experience today. What do you say? Nice. Of course I want the job, but... Doesn't he notice? Doesn't he see that there's something... Wrong with me? Should I say something? Really? You don't know anything about me? You're gonna hire me? No questions asked? Don't you want to know why I look like this? What I'm hiding? What happened to me? We all have our problems. I'm not exactly normal myself. And thanks for not saying anything about how I look. But actually, I do need to see your ID to make sure you're of legal drinking age. My palms start to sweat. Oh no. I hesitate for a moment before opening my bag and fumbling through my wallet. My fingers tremble. I hand it to the strange man, apprehension mounting. He squints at the name and the photo on the ID. He doesn't know what to make of it. Jackie, huh? Yep, you're just over the legal age, but... This picture. It doesn't look like you. You can't take off your mask and glasses. I... I... well... Do I have to tell him? I don't want to talk about it. There was an accident. At my last job, I was... disfigured. Are we an invisible man? You know, I thought it might be something like that. And I don't want to pry, but... I figure that's probably the reason you need this job. So, that said... Welcome to Frankie's Lair. I'm Frankie, and you're the new bartender. Let's get started. Come over to my side of the bar. I know, right? That's what I'm thinking too, Marion. That's exactly what's going through my head. <laughs> they don't dress. He's wearing a turtleneck, long sleeves, uh, glasses, full face mask, weird wig. <laughs> I'm not sure you knew this when you applied for the job, but Frankie's Lair is a special kind of bar for a couple of reasons. Who's built out of... I know, right? <laughs> The first reason is, while we do have a menu, it's pretty limited. Our main attraction here is what we can make is that we can make customized drinks for our customers. Customized drinks? That sounds hard. Not even close, Burgon. <laughs> That's right. Typically, you'll have to ask them if you. I mean, like maybe the face mask thing, but that that honestly, that character needs to die. That character just needs to. It was a dumb thing. <laughs> Questions like fruity or floral, sweet or savory, sour or bitter. Questions like that. Okay. 
Sometimes you can just take your cues off their personality and appearance. Certain types of customers might have different needs. Your past keeps haunting you, I know, right? <laughs> types of customers? What? What does that mean? Are you new in town, by any chance? What? Um, sort of? I came here for college. I've been so busy studying that I haven't gone out much, gotten out much, I guess. <laughs> I, maybe, but hey, you know? Wait, do I still have that up there? Maybe, maybe I do. I have to check real quick. Echo, echo, echo. Echo, echo, echo. Oh yeah, I did get rid of it. Oh yeah, I did get rid of it. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all replaced with like important links and stuff like that. So, okay. I know, right? The wallpaper, yeah. I mean, I was, uh, the work you did for me was great and I paid money for that, so I'm getting my use out of it. <laughs> I see. Well, you'll figure it out soon when customers start coming in. Any second now. I have no idea what that means. Is he asking me to treat customers differently based on how they look? That's not good. I hope he's talking about something else. Which brings me to the second reason why this bar is special. Basically, we cater towards a very specific clientele. Uh oh, here it comes. Is this some sort of weird themed club? The job listing didn't mention anything like this. Is he going to tell me or is he going to continue to be vague? What have I got myself into? Marion. Folks that come in are all a little different. They're looking for a place to unwind where they can be themselves. Away from polite society. He could be talking about literally anyone. Stop beating around the bush! That's a little vague? I'm afraid I'm in a hurry and explaining could take all day. Right now, it's more important that you learn how to mix a drink before customers start coming in. The Monster Mash! Wait, what? Uh, am I the only bartender? Does nobody else work here? <clears throat> My other employees have been calling out sick for a while now. It's just been me for the last week, give or take a few days. So tonight, it's just gonna be me and you. This is not what I envisioned at, all, envisioned at all. I've literally never mixed a drink before in my life, and I'm only going in, going to get a few minutes of training before customers come in. Before a customer comes in, customers, please stay away. Let's have you practice making a drink. For me, we'll make it easy. I don't have any strong preferences, so you just have to make me any kind of drink at all. The basic recipe for a Frankie's cocktail is two shots of any alcohol, two shots of any mixer, and one or more garnishes. Should I be writing this down? Nah. It's best not to leave any of those ingredients out. The customer will know if you don't put enough stuff in it. So don't skimp. You can deviate from the for formula if you want to experiment, but with some customers, it's best not to take that risk. These customers sound difficult. Why am I working in customer service again? Oh, right. I'm desperate. Hey! Not, not Zero. Uh, Zeriab? Oh my god, I'm fucking up your name. How you doing? Zeri. I'm just gonna say Zeri, yes. The other thing you need to do is combine the ingredients. Give it a good stir or shake it. Don't skip that step, or it's gonna get pretty un or it's gonna be pretty unappetizing. That's pretty much it. That's it? Um, milk and oranges for the <laughs> optimal texture! God! I'm really tired, actually, if, if you must know. Don't people go to school for mixology or complete some kind of training program? It has to be more than just mix random ingredients together. I just don't have time for all that right now. I need your help and I need it now. You'll do fine. We can figure out the other stuff later. Let's just, let's just get the basics under your belt. The chunks at it. <laughs> all right, kid, go ahead and make me a drink. I'll help you. Okay, let's start making a drink for Frankie. What would he like? Alcohol, okay. okay. Uh, we've got... Ooh, let's go with the green. Eldritch Vermouth. What even is it? Gin, old-timey charm. AB positive, like blood? Is blood alcoholic? Vodka! Okay, so we're gonna do... Vodka and gin. Mmm. And mixers, we're looking at... Hot sauce, yeah, Frankie likes it hot. 
Worcestershire and uh, Spirit Bitters. Oh yeah, I'll give you a, a little bit of bitters there. Let's mix these together. Uh, shaken. Okay, just needs a garnish. And one, oh, um. I feel like an olive. Garlic olive. Mm, a little snack. Just don't give that to a vampire. And serve. What kind of drink did I make? Some kind of Franken drink. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> I have a bottle of Tabasco, all right? Poutine, because of the. Oh my god, I hate you so much, Marion. Oh my god. Hey, not bad for your first try. I'm sure this drink is going to be more than a little tolerable. To recap, you want to customize the drink to each customer, so choose your ingredients carefully when your first customer comes in. Phew, I really did it. Maybe this isn't going to be an impossible task after all. Maybe I'm a natural talent. But let's not get ahead of myself. Drink up. I hope you like it. Frankie makes no moves to taste my masterpiece. He leaves the glass untouched on the counter. Uh... Sorry, I don't think I should drink this. Wait, what? Did I do something wrong after all? No, no, it's not you, it's... Suddenly... I don't feel so good. Wait, does he not want to taste my drink? Or is something actually wrong? Are you okay, boss? No, no, I think I'm starting to feel ill. Very, very ill. I have to go, I'll be back. Watch the bar for me! Wait, what? No, boss! Frankie! Wait, what the hell is happening? Is he serious? Is this some kind of test? Is this why his employees all left? Or... He said they all called in sick. Is Frankie sick now too? Am I gonna catch whatever illness they have? Crap, I can't go to the hospital... like this? What happens when they try to put me in a hospital gown? Or put an IV in my vein? Okay, yep. Yeah, we're invisible. Wait, hold that thought. Did I just hear the door open and shut? Boss, are you back? Oh my god, it's a customer! Hi, hello, welcome to... Wait, what's it called? Frankie's! Frankie's Lair! Welcome to Frankie's Lair! I sound insane, why am I shouting? Heck normal. I've had this nightmare. Um, hi. Oh wow, she sure has a look. I'll have... The usual... Are you kidding me? The usual? How am I supposed to know what that is? I don't even know you! Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we've only just met. I don't know what your usual drink is. Oh? Hmm. She seems kind of out of it. Where's Frankie? Frankie is indisposed. He said he'll be back, though. Did you want to wait for him? No, no. I need my drink. Right away. Are you sure? I'm a new hire and I just started today. Listen, when I say I need my drink, is she okay? She looks like she might faint. I mean, I need it. Are you sure you might not want, like, some food or something? Welcome back, Dora. You look a little weak, tired. I might be able to find you some nuts or pretzels. I just need my drink, please. Now. I'm so sorry, but I don't know what your usual drink, and I'm very inexperienced. I don't care. Make me a drink. Make me any drink, as long as it has the good stuff. The good stuff? That's right. Don't make me spell it out. I... You mean, like, something top shelf? Don't toy with me! Can you help me right up? Okay, we're gonna put in uh, two shots of blood. Um, little Worcestershire, Worcestershire shots. Wait, that was vi oh shit! I may have fucking little little bitters. <laughs> Spooky. Mix them together. Um, we're just gonna stir it. That's kind of normal, I know, right? Okay, just needs a garnish. So, okay, 
Not the garlic stuffed olives. That not not the flame either. A little umbrella. Yes. How festive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a little spider. Perfect. How's this? Am I done? What kind of drink did I make? My favorite. Gummy sour, sour candy boys. Favorite. Gummy sour. It's red from the blood. Give it to me. Eek. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Delicious. I really needed that. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you like it. As she happily sits away at the last dregs of her drink, I start to wonder. Frankie said to observe the customers and make drinks based for them on their appearance and personality. It's savory. It's blood, sauce, and bitters? Yeah, it's savory. It's got, it's, exactly, I went for the umami. <laughs> and well, for this lady, that seemed to work. Because what she looks like is, <laughs> no way. Her behavior, it's an act, right? And that alcohol bottle labeled blood. A joke, right? No. I think I've been in denial for too long. So, are you... Are you a... Are you a vampire? Ugh, you don't have to say it out loud. Oh, so you are? I mean, yeah, obviously. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Vampire, confirmed. My awkward conversation skills, also confirmed. What do I say now? <laughs> Whatever, man. It's cool. You're a weird one yourself, huh? Looking like that. Ouch. Right in my weak spot. You didn't have to point it out, but I guess turnabout is fair play. Oh, neat. <laughs> I mean, there's no way you'd be working here if you weren't cool with, you know, folks like me. Frankie's a chill guy. He lets us hang out here and doesn't make a big deal about it. And he really should have told me. I could have been killed if I pissed her off. Or she might have turned me into her undead thrall. And what if I put those garlic stuffed olives in her drink? Anyway, I was famished enough for blood when I came in just now. You wouldn't believe the day I've been having. For context, we, people like me, have a special deal with the local blood bank. They give us exactly as much as our special um, medication, of our special medication, as we need. Wait, you just said blood bank? Enough with the euphemisms. Euphemisms. In, ex in exchange, we don't hurt anyone in town or make them like us. I know. Well, <laughs> I'm going easy for a Well, it's, the full game's coming out in May, so I want to play it then. Not that we're blackmailing them. This is fair exchange. No, I didn't assume that. It's totally a win-win. I mean, we'd get really sick and die if we didn't have our medicine. So it's like they're saving us from a life-threatening disease. Which is practically the purpose of a blood bank. I wonder if the donors know what their blood is being used for. I'm actually kind of afraid to ask. So if you get all the medicine that you need, why were you so hungry? Well, as I was saying, it's been a rough day. I usually take a bag with my medicine in it to work and put it in the fridge there, but today someone cleaned out the fridge and threw everything away. They didn't even ask! Then when I got home, I realized I left my key inside my apartment, so I had to call the landlord, who had misplaced his key. So I had to wait for the locksmith, and I was starving by the time she showed up and unlocked the door. And when I finally got inside, it turns out there had been a power outage, and all my medicine had spoiled. I was so hungry! That does sound like a rough day. And by that time, of course, the blood bank had closed. It was all I could do to remember that Frankie keeps the very fresh supply of the good stuff stocked at his bar at all times. I barely made it. You're lucky I didn't come a few minutes later. I was totally ready to eat you. <laughs> yeah, well, all's well that ends well. Holy crap, this job is dangerous. Maybe I should leave. But my last job was worse. And I need the money to put towards recovering from that whole ordeal. I can't go around looking like this forever. So... Might as well come out and say it. She seems like she's in a good mood now. Has there ever been an indication where you didn't make it in time? Have you ever attacked someone? There was a time before I lived here. Before the blood bank reached out to me. Before I knew there was a way to get the product. 
sustainably sourced. I did what I had to, and I know I'd do it again if it came down to it. Wow. So while I can't say I can ever completely put it behind me, I'm in a better place now. Just needs to get good with makeup. Literally, this town is full of people like me. They've incentivized us to relocate here. So to some degree, I'm able to exist here pretty peacefully. As long as no vampire hunters find me here. <laughs> it's been great talking to you, friend, but I gotta head back now. I'll tell Frankie you did great. Here's your tip. She has me two crumpled dollars. Well, it's a start. Thanks. I'm Jackie, by the way. Nice to meet you, Jackie. I'm looking forward to trying your next concoction. Bye. Bye. That's a lot to take in. Phew. So, vampires exist. And from what Frankie was insinuating, they aren't the only weird customers I'm likely to get. The next customer could be... An alien? A witch? A zombie? A werewolf? A Frankenstein? Wait. Frankie's... Lair? I heard the door. Was that a customer? Boss! I'm just back for a second. I'm still under the weather. But maybe you understand how this bar works now? Hey, the customer even left you a tip. Maybe you're a natural after all. I think I better come out and ask him. Here goes nothing. Boss, I just have to ask. Are you one of them? Are you like a... M m m m m m m a monster? I mean, I do wonder about that myself from time to time. <laughs> yes, Marion! There's no straight answer to that. There's no scientific classification for what a monster is. It's just a label people apply to things that scare them. There's no species of monster, or even genus or family in the taxonomic sense. Are you a bartender or a biologist? <laughs> it's not like we all come from the same place or have a common ancestors. No, Frank... No. Intelligence is knowing that Frankenstein was not the monster. Wisdom is knowing that Frankenstein was the monster. <laughs> I love that saying. I'll say that anytime I can. I have a chance to. It's his fault. He has that abnormal brain. It isn't his fault. God, I can't, the way I came about was not the same way a vampire or a ghost came into being. There's ghosts? <laughs> yes. We have one who resides here in the bar. They occasionally order a drink. I thought that's who your first customer would be. At any rate, I get, I kind of get a vibe off of you that uh, you might be the same as us. Mm, I'm not calling you a monster, but if you think I'm a monster and our customers are monsters, th that's not what I meant. Well, I just think that maybe you're hiding because you might see yourself as a monster. That's normal. We all go through that. But what are you, my therapist? This isn't who I am, it's what I've b become. So how does that make you different from a vampire or a werewolf, exactly? They were born human. I don't know. Don't act like you know what I've been through. Crap, did I overstep? Is he going to fire me after all? Well, clearly you're going through something. And believe me, I know all about existential crisis. But I'm working on it in a therapy. I'm even improving my relationship with my dad. Oh no! <laughs> your dad? Wait. So if your dad is Frankenstein, then you're Frankenstein's... Frankenstein's son. So you're... Frank Frankenstein? <laughs> no. My real name is Adam. Or Prometheus, I think. Um, was, was, was he, was he called, well, he didn't have a name in the book, did he? I always thought Prometheus was also another name that could be used for, uh, Frankenstein's, uh, son. <laughs> Frankie's a nickname. Mm. That said, my stomach is starting to cramp up again. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think he had a name either. No, no, boss, stay here in case another customer comes. I need to ease into the job slowly. That last customer could have killed me and I wasn't remotely prepared. Ugh, I'll try. 
but I can only hold out for so long. My stomach is churning and churning. My digestion is a little sensitive, perhaps due to the way I was made. Just hang in there. Can you walk me through making another drink? Y y yeah, sure. Maybe that'll take my mind off this. I know, right? Oh, sounds like we have a customer. Oh god, my stomach. Hmm. Well, I'll still feel better if you're here to help me out, boss. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't leave! Wait, that customer. It's dark, but... Is that... No, wait, that, that, that's... My blood runs cold. Suddenly, all I can hear is my own heartbeat, pound, heartbeat pounding in my ears. This is worse than any vampire, or zombie, or demon. I wonder if my legs would give out from sudden weakness. I hear Frankie welcoming the new customer. This can't be happening. Unwanted memories flash before my eyes. He's here. It's my old boss. Frankie looks like he's already got one foot in the bathroom door, but he manages to grunt out a half-hearted welcome. Welcome to Frankie's lair. We'll make you, you any drink your heart desires. Thank you for the warm welcome, Mr. Frank. I've been meaning to stop in here for a while and to see myself, uh, see for myself what your bar is all about, Mr. Seek. I'm Mr. Meek Seeks! Friend that turned transparent, apparently? <laughs> okay, thank you, Chevy. I thought so. That's why it sounded familiar. Up time to hydrate. And hey, Zemsey. I'm glad you stopped by. I didn't expect you to come so soon. Frankie, D do you know him? I immediately regret saying anything. Now he's looking right at me. That's not a polite way to greet a customer. I'm sorry, sir. My new trainee bartender is still learning the ropes. Mr. Frank and I met earlier today when he dined at my establishment. I own a restaurant, you see. Yes, I know you run a stupid fast food restaurant. I used to work there. But wait. Maybe there's hope. Does this mean he doesn't recognize me? Well, how could he when I'm wearing this getup? Yes, I had a delicious lunch. But my stomach seems to be disagreeing with me somewhat. Is this why Frankie is sick? I don't know why he'd do it, but it looks like Mr. Seek may have poisoned Frankie. In fact, I say it's more than likely. But what can I do? I apologize, but I must excuse myself for a moment. Several moments, maybe. Here's was a Burger King franchise. Ugh. So, we meet again, Jackie. I, 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 do I know you? Oof, that was excessive. I'm pretty sure he knows it's me. Let's not play games, Jackie. I'm not here for fun. You haven't back, been back to work in several weeks. Th that's because I quit. Did you? You didn't give me any sort of notice, you just left. What? Isn't it obvious why I quit? You, you you turned me into a monster, a freak! Oh my, did something like that happen? I can't imagine how that would have happened at a fast food restaurant. Surely you have a very wild imagination. Now you're the one playing games with me, I know you did it. We were both there. Oh, you say, you remember? Can't fry our accident. <laughs> You're making this up. There's no way you can remember. You always acted so nice, giving me free food. All the while you were poisoning me, poisoning me, sedating me, experimenting on me. I was always so exhausted on my lunch break. I'd fall asleep and then I'd wake up in a daze and it was already time to go home. Don't be ridiculous. You were studying for your college exams and working the night shift. Of course you were tired. I very kindly offered you free food and let you sleep while you were on the clock. You were so grateful back then. Such a silly, delusional child. What does the name Mr. Seek stand? Like, what is that for? Like, what does he represent? You <laughs> a fast food meal? No, you even asked for a blood sample on my first day. It was a huge red flag, but I was so desperate for money so I could pay for school, and nobody else was hiring. Blood? You won't find a trace of your blood at my restaurant. If you cut yourself at some point, it's been thoroughly cleaned up. We have very good grades from the health inspector, after all. 
Stop messing around. Stop trying to make me think nothing happened. You can't deny that this happened. First, I took off my face mask. I knew it! Then I took off my glasses. A wave of fear shot through me, but the anger was stronger. Then finally, I took off my crummy wig. I put the glasses back on. Moment of drama behind us, I do need to be able to see. <laughs> Just a minor Castlevania boss from the BM BGM. I see. So your head exploded, then. No, you stupid asshole! I'm invisible! <laughs> I knew it! I'm a genius! Only a true master of science and art can pull this off! That smug bastard. Of course now he's gonna brag about it. Not denying it anymore, are you? Ha! <laughs> it was easy to goad you into revealing yourself. You're very predictable, Jackie. The perfect toy. The perfect experimental test subject. And you yielded the perfect outcome! Come back to me, Jackie. Are you insane? Insane? <laughs> Small-minded people do sometimes hold that opinion of me. My mind does function in a different way than other people's do. On a higher plane. I know, I, I've never actually read the book. I saw the movie with Chevy Chase. That answers that. And I will explain myself fully to you. If you agree to come back to work for me. I don't want to know how your mind works. I don't care. I hate you. I have a new job here anyway. Do you, my friend? Your boss seems a little... Unwell. You better give me the antidote to fix whatever's wrong with him. Oh, Jackie. I would never kill such an interesting specimen. Just a little friendly teasing. The effects of the drug are short-lived. Why did you poison him? Oh. Let's just say I've had my eye on you for some time. This is the only job posting in town, so... I invited Mr. Frank to dine at the restaurant for half off. Knowing, of course, that you had your interview later this afternoon. Lots of material, I know, right? And before that, I made sure his other employees were all out sick. That way, I knew I could talk to you one on one. You can't turn away a customer. Resourceful of me, no? I'm still interested in retaining your services, after all. Interesting. As you can see, I can be quite persistent. Of course, you've been stalking me. It was quite a feat. When you just disappeared, literally disappeared, I had to go to some lengths to find you again. Or he just got my address from his employee records. He's not as smart as he wants me to think. You're not going to convince me to leave this job. Now let me make you a drink or leave me the hell alone forever. <laughs> I think I will have you make me a drink. Are you such a good bartender then? I, I just started. Give me a break. If you can make me the drink I want, I'll let you keep this job. Let me? You don't have a say in that. Make me a martini. A martini? N no, I don't think you understand. At Frankie's Lair, we make bespoke cocktails for individual customers. If you can't mix up a martini, you are not a bartender. I don't care what you say. If you can't make it for me right now, I'll be coming back in here every day to talk you into coming back to work for me at the lab. The lab? You mean... The restaurant? I have many positions available for you to fill. Guinea pig is not a position I'm interested in. You've done enough. Just put a little poop in there. What? Oh no! He just put a little poop in all their burgers. God damn. Oh. He's flirting with you. Then you don't want me to reverse the procedure that turned you invisible. What? Since when was that an option? Why didn't you lead with that? If you can change me back, do it right now! As tempting as that sounds, I will need you to agree to sign a contract to enter my employee first. I will kill him, and I believe I will take that martini. Shaken, not st Oh, for crying out loud. I'll make you the damn martini, but after that, you will turn me back, and I'm not ever working for you again. We'll see. Martini with a little poop in it! I'm gonna make him the best goddamn martini of his life! And then he's gonna fix me and leave! Okay. Oh boy. Um, fuck. I, it's like vermouth and gin, I think. And bitters for a martini?
Gin of vermouth and garnish with it all over lemon twists. Okay. Traditional martini is um, two ounces of gin or, or vodka and one ounce of dry vermouth. Okay, so, and then, and then the olive to go, okay. <laughs> Look up this, I forgot how I to make a martini. I've never actually made one, so. Um, oh, just vermouth, okay. So gin and vermouth. This is the start of the martini. Should I finish it or keep experimenting? Should I should I keep it? Oh, well, should I should I add more or just or go with the martini? What do you think? It's not done. <sighs> it's a bespoke cocktail, but should I put in? Uh, do you add? Do you, okay, I'm gonna look at martini. And okay, bitters. It does say you can put bitters. Spooky. Okay, maybe I'll put in. Yeah, you know fuck it. We're. It's gonna be the most bitter fucking martini you've ever had, motherfucker. And he wasn't shaken, not stirred. Okay. Just needs a garnish. Olive. Hmm, a little snack. Here we go. What kind of drink did I make? I made a martini. Or something like it, anyway. I think that's a martini or something like one. Who am I kidding? I've never had a martini before. The only information I had to go on was from those spy movies. Did I do it wrong? Judging by how it looks, well, you really should have put it in a martini glass. I know that. I couldn't find a martini glass. Judge the drink, not the glass. Zemsi. Don't mind if I do. Bottoms up. I expect him to make to take a tentative sip, but he takes a huge gulp. I guess he doesn't do things half-heartedly. God, I hated him. Jackie. Jackie. What? Oh my god! This is not a martini! It, it is! It's mostly a martini. It's, it's a different recipe than what you're used to. It's a house martini. My excuses sound feeble, even to me. You almost had it. But a martini is garnished with an olive or a twist. But but it is a twist. It's a twist on a... I gave it an olive. I asked for a classic martini. You saw the garnish and drank it anyway. No. I do not accept, accept your perfect martini. You are not cut out to be a bartender. As per our agreement, you will quit your bartending job. No, not happening. I made your drink. Now get out. What agreement? You're a freaking lunatic. All I agreed to do was make you a drink. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Who's going to reverse your invisibility if I don't? How are you going to make money at your job if you can't even make me a martini? Now more than ever, it's clear that you need me. Maybe, Chevy, that could be it, yeah. And I need you. As my employee, as my lab assistant, as your lab rat... Oh, Jackie. Lab rats don't get paid, nor do they have the ability to understand how they're advancing cutting-edge technology. With you by my side, we'll, we will become unstoppable. Ah, Mr. Frank, back from the bathroom, I see. Boss, help me! I spin around to look for Frankie, and in a second it takes me to realize I've been had. Mr. C curls himself over the bar, delivers a blow to my midsection that knocks all the air from my lungs. Something sharp jabs into my arm. Immediately, my vision starts to swim. Okay, we made the wrong choice. <laughs> In a few short moments, he has divested me of all my clothing. I'm now completely invisible, drugged, and unable to speak. Mr. Seek? 
Where's Jackie? I heard vo raised voices. Your employee became enraged when they couldn't make me a mar make a martini. They stormed off and said to tell you they were quitting. Wait, what? No, no, I, I need a bartender. I can teach Jackie to make a martini. Which way do they go? Out the back door, to the alleyway, I think. If you hurry, you might be able to catch them. No, Frankie, is what I want to say. As Frankie dashes out the door, Mr. Seek picks up my unresponsive body and drags and begins to drag me away. Everything goes dark. And from there, my life is a science experiment all over again. Maybe he will turn me visible again someday, but I don't think so. The only thing I know for sure is that he will never let me leave. Bad end. Hint. You can look at what is in a martini. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! God, I had it! But no, we're like, let's experiment. God damn. Okay, so we got the bad end. We have to go back and get the good end now. Okay, at least we can skip. Okay. Mixology, mate. Here we go. We can at least skip to that. That's nice. Okay, so it is... We know it's gin and vermouth. No, martini. We're gonna shake it. Okay, and just needs a garnish. So this is gonna give me the orange peel, and then... I think this is done. I just serve it. Okay, but should we also put an olive on it? I think, yeah, I think we're, this is a classic martini. Classic martini has the uh, has the peel. Yeah. What kind of drink did I make? A martini! Well, how do you like that? That's a martini. Who wouldn't know what it was in a martini? I believe I'll be the judge of that. I judge you by how it looks. Well, you really should have been a martini glass. I, mean, I could find a martini glass. Literally the third drink I've ever made here. It's pretty boozy. Are you trying to get me drunk? It's a martini. I don't know what you expected. Now, now, don't take everything so seriously. This martini is satisfactory. Yes, I did it. Now make me visible again. Oh, Jackie. The thing is, I don't give out charitable donations. The procedure is quite lengthy, and the experiment is terribly expensive. Equipment is terribly expensive. And looking at your tip jar, I'd say you have about $2 to your name. That's not nothing. I only had one customer who ordered one drink. I gave her exactly what she needed, and she gave me a tip. And I gave you exactly what you wanted, too. So no, I don't think I'm a terrible bartender. No, oh, the confidence your $2 gives you. Your naivety is your most charming feature, Jackie. You will come running back to me. I wouldn't count on it. You can't hide from Mr. Seek. Did you really just say that? That's so lame. His attempts to get me back are getting more pathetic. I'm starting to wonder how I was ever afraid of him. Marion! I think you better be going, Mr. Seek. You need me. I think I'm gonna do all right here. I fit in well here. I don't think anyone's gonna care that I'm a little different. Damn straight. Now you get the hell out of here before you cause any more trouble. And stay away from my employees. But the customer is always... Go! Good riddance, you poisoner. Well, Jackie, you look... different. Yeah, well, technically I don't look like anything at all. <laughs> well, if you could joke about it, that's probably a sign that you're going to be fine. Eventually. I know, I know. I did mean what I said, that I'd probably fit it fit right in here. Whether or not I stay like this forever, I'll be okay. It won't stop me from trying to find some way to go back to normal. But at least I have a place where I could be somewhat average. And I'll never be desperate enough to go back to work for Mr. Seek. No kidding. That guy is insane. A real mad scientist, huh? I wonder if he was always like that. I bet he started out normal and slowly descended into madness. Or maybe he experimented on himself and it drove him to the depths of insanity. Uh, I don't even want to speculate, but something tells me you've hit the mark. I'm kind of an expert on the whole mad scientist song and dance. You've had a rough first day. Here, sit down. I'll make you a drink. <laughs> I got the hang of working as a bartender really quickly. 
the tips flow on pretty readily. Once I get, got to know the customers, it became easy to figure out what drinks they liked and what they didn't like. Never give a ghost a margarita with a salted rim. <laughs> I'm still invisible, for now at least. Nobody here cares that much. I still put on my mask and my goofy wig to attend my college classes. I thought it might be, be better to spend my earnings sp studying to become a scientist myself instead of paying some stranger to try and make me visible again. I have to stop writing now. Frankie's yelling at me to make another bloody, bloody Mary for one of our guests. Coming right up. Good end. Yay! I like that, actually. I would love to see that as a full game. I think they actually are making it as one. Let's see here. How do I... Oh, I can't quit. Oh, there's no quit, is there? Oh, there we go. I just hit all enter. Okay. Um... Devil Good Game Jam to Steam Marketplace. Go learning to work on a game engine, this time Unity, and find out how we'll work together as a team. First place in the jam. Nice! They're actually gonna make um They're actually gonna make a game. Sweet. <laughs> Burger God is it? So can't wait to see this on Steam. Yay! Yeah, I, that was actually quite clever and enjoyable. <laughs> 